Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nikha Chato back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this uh, some kind of dissolving effect. I don't know what I can say this effect. So let's take a look. So we're gonna create this same kind of effect inside this Anma 4D by using. Uh, field and volume builder so make sure you have a Sanma 4D version which is uh, plus than R19 uh, it's starting from R20, R21, R22 uh, or R23 so make sure it's not gonna work with uh, other than R20 so or below than R20 sorry okay let's start first we create a new project file here so we just simply add a text more text so i just change it from align from left to middle and change the font little bit thicker so monster it look okay for me so now we just change it like my name or something like see like share tutorial okay so now we are just little cap here like basic roundings make a little bit lower, smaller depth change it to a 30 make it more or 40 so that's looking okay for me now we create uh we just take this same material from here okay like that wait so so we create simple material for our uh, text here so like look like little bit gold or something like that so remove at reflection or just conductor add it like a copper not a gold so just change this color to a little bit copper type color or gold type that's looking okay for me it's too shiny but it's looking good so next thing what we need to do here we just add a volume builder for our more text take our more text in our volume builder change voxel size from 10 to 1.5 or if you want to go more uh, get more resolution just take it a little bit down more down so i'm happy with 1.5 so next thing we just add a volume measure on our volume builder like that so in volume measure we just take it all down and use absolute value 0.5 so next thing we need to create a random field so we just add a random field from the field tabs and take our random field under the volume builder like that so now text field we need to create here a linear field and what we're gonna do here now we just take our linear field and drag and drop under our objects volume builder objects so not next thing we just change volume type from sign distance field to fog so all the setup is done now just let's make it uh so after that we need to what we're gonna do here take your more text on the top and add one more more text take this one and drag and drop under your random field here so just take it down all the way down so here is a simple layer setting so now uh, for our more text we want to add min like minus and linear field we want to add it and random field we also want to minus so here is a simple setup so you see nothing because we just need to change these to field linear field and random field just select the uh, one and change creation sp space from box to object flow so same with our random field and here we go 
so as you can see here it's not match with our what we want so what we're gonna do here just little bit rotate our linear field but first we need to change the size of our uh, noise here so uh, go in random field click on random field layer and go in field tab and change noise type from pearl into poxo or any any noise type you want so i go with poxo it's look really amazing so change the scale from 100 to 40000 because we need really big so next thing we need to we what we're gonna do here as you can see our random field work this way this uh, way so we need to change the traction of our linear field that way so like that otherwise it's not gonna work properly so uh, let me show you what i mean so if we don't rotate it so and you take it like that so as you can see here there is some leftover on our tag so that's why we need to rotate it little bit in that direction so now if we just take it like that we need to rotate it little bit more and next thing go in linear remapping and click on clamp means so direction normalize and that's it that's how you make that so just animate your let me say linear field like we just create a keyframe here and just 190 and create one keyframe one keyframe here and now we reverse it like that so one keyframe here so let's take a look so and we need to apply our material on volume builder so let's take a look how it's look like like that let's take little time because it's depend on your computer so that's looking great but as you can see here our noise is little bigger and it's really fast so let's increase or decrease the noise scale so we just change it to 10,000 and let's see it again yeah so that's how you create it and let's check out reverse so thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you don't subscribe my channel yet subscribe it now thanks for watching bye bye